Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome back to Let's Play Lord of the Rings Two Towers. My headphone cord is jammed under my chair, so it's pulling at my head awkwardly. There we go. Happy cord is happy. Alright, let's get back into slashing up some goblins and shit. Don't stare at me like that, dwarf. I'll take you down a peg. Oh, that's a leaf. I thought it was one of those green goblin things. <laughs> Speaking of green goblin, man, Spider-Man 3 was such a disappointment. Whenever I think about it, I'm like, eh. Venom was so wussy. Oh, sweet. Oh, helm. Yeah, equip that. Run. Run. Remember that part in Aragorn and Lord of the Rings and Aragorn sh got shot with an arrow and then ran away like a coward? Yeah, I just made that part up. It just happened. It'd be a lot easier if I could hit you. Run away. Need more magic. Hopefully he doesn't, like, regenerate health over time or something. Sweet. Got you, sucker. Ooh, fruit. Why do these goblins have so much fruit on them? There aren't really trees growing underground. Thank you for standing there. I'm taking it. Yep, buying the hell out of these. Oh, they get more expensive as you go. Jerks! Alright. Whatever, I got like four skill points. Or attribute points. And I gotta level up. Oh, no, wait, was it these points? Ah, balls. Yeah, you need more courage, home slice. Damn it, it was the wrong one. Whoa, 700. You can't go from 150 to 700. That's just not fair. Alright. Uh, kinda don't want to get active skills because I like having heal. up the heal. I need more more healing. More healing is good. Heal yourself. I just hope it's not more expensive as you go, because then I have to like... I guess that thing in the corner is Sauron sees you. I know where you are. Oh, that's suddenly, suddenly goblins. Let's look. Alright, plus five, that's lame. Four to nine, plus one defense. That wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, because that's actually kind of weak. I mean, the plus two accuracy is nice, but... Whatever. Let's do this. Yeah, the thing I said at the end of the episode, I was wondering where this was. Alright, I guess that just tells me the, like, upgrade level. No, you need to wait. Upgrade level of my weapons. Yes, I know, little arrow. Is that ending up like Vagrant Story, where you have to wait and heal yourself, wait and heal yourself. <sighs> or since enemies don't spawn, you just leave yourself in a room until your hit points and magic points naturally regenerate. 
Also, as a side note, I was going to do Vagrant Story a while ago, and I had it all set out, but I was episodes got cut up and had issues, so that didn't work out too well. Excuse me, I have to get get gems, Mr. Goblins. Let me go back to that place and try to solve this stuff. Oh. He's down. I have to put it up. You know, I have to say, like, I've always liked the world of Dungeons and Dragons, and I've played like one game. And the one thing I hate is like the constant miss rolls. Like, I don't know. I just always hate when you're like slicing away at something for like five minutes, and your half of your attacks are misses. I don't know. I've never really been a big fan of... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus Christ, man. You're killing me. He had two hoods. This dungeon is taking it serious, but I guess they expect you to grind like a mofo. Alright, come on, mana. Regenerate faster. That heal is so pathetic. Especially considering how much damage enemies do. It's just weird, because, like, some enemies do a lot of damage, and some do, like, little to none. And I know it's based on rolls, but... Alright, we can get rid of something. Get rid of one of these hoods. Is that a short sword? Ugh. Yeah, ring mail isn't as good. If we could just go sell the stuff. That's pretty cool. But, I don't know. And, like, I don't know. I, I don't want to sit playing for, like, 12 hours just trying to get through, like, one little dungeon. I don't know. I always found it a little tedious. It's not like I need, like, fast action all the time. I just, like... I guess I'd prefer more hits, less damage than, like, incessant missing. And I know somebody will say something about, like, character classes and all that other kind of stuff. Like, oh, well, your stat roll and all this. But no, uh, just stop. I'm not going to get into a Dungeons & Dragons debate. Um, wow, that sucks. Three to six damage with minus one accuracy. Um, not this shit again. Guess I'm gonna have to find another way. Yeah. This is like the Hobbit, where you have to find the other way around. <clears throat> that was really unnecessary. I guess it's like to keep keep it from being like just grind with that leather jacket. Let's see if it's any good. Yeah, this thing's a piece of garbage. That can go away. That's a piece of garbage. Like, this game definitely needs, like, something to give you more inventory slots. Do I have a cemetery yet? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Sword Rapier. Because that makes sense. There we go. Now I can be a little bit of a defensive beast with my extra plus one. I mean, I liked all the everything else about it, I just didn't like the constant like frustration of being like, 
Alright, well how many more hits is, am I going to actually get off before I actually get somewhere? But other than that, the creative factors and stuff like that in it were great. I'm just going to sit here and farm these buttholes. I don't know. I really think that like a lot of modern RPGs like take off of Dungeons and Dragons, so that's why like I ever had any interest in playing it because a lot of people are like, it's the greatest thing ever, or I freaking hate it. So I don't know. I I thought it would be interesting as like not so much like a thought experiment, but more like a getting to know whether it would be something I'd be into and kind of understanding where, like, ideologies for games come from, which I always thought was interesting. Um, but it's kind of sad to see how, once again, something else has not moved on from a very, I guess, primitive form. I mean, granted, it's like, uh, you know, Gygax was amazing for thinking of that in the first place. And, uh, certainly it probably took him quite a while to get everything together and balanced. But... Ugh, more of these crappy hoods. But, I don't know, it's it's weird how nobody's thought of a better system. I guess in a way, that kind of makes him... Whoa, holy fuck. That makes him kind of a genius in that... Gladius. Ugh, that's stupid. I mean, essentially makes him a genius thinking of that and putting it all together and... Because... Uh, you know, you think if it was, like, that easy to make or whatever, he would have, you know, somebody else would have thought of it first and just, you know, ripped him off ahead of time. I mean, granted, there were, like, rifts and all those other kind of games, but, I mean, there are still people who play Dungeons & Dragons despite the fact that, you know, you have WoW and stuff like that that, have, that are basically the same thing. Ah. Um, by, like, some of the extra fluff kind of stuff has been taken out. So. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's kind of a testament to what of what good game... What kind... Uh, what... Da, 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 how good the gameplay is. Again, not my thing, but rather interesting. S talk is normally a two handed sword, so. No, I'm going over here. This is like booty room. They really need, like, more shrines set at certain points, and I kind of want to get a level up before I leave here. Because I'm probably pretty damn close to leveling up. That was suddenly a little too much. No, I wanted the gems. I don't care about the shield. This guy should hopefully give me a level up. Fuck yeah, level up. Alright. Let's put... that up. And let's put the heel up again. No. Stupid drum bearer. Uh-oh. 
Does that mean ring wraiths are coming soon? Yeah, that could go. A cloth shirt. Get out of my inventory. Alright, let's just pick up this. I don't need any more. <clears throat> Actually, I'd rather have that than the small shield. Because it's probably better to sell. <clears throat> but I don't know the pricings. Uh, let's go ahead and let's save. Yeah, level seven. I'm so badass. You know what probably would have made these GBA games better if the other one was like a like Sonic and Knuckles, where you could like insert the old cart. So you could kind of take your character through uh, each game. Uh, yes, no more room. Is this one better than the one I have? It's the same exact thing. Die. Nom, nom, nom. This rate, I can probably just grind here with the spawn rate. It's probably like a boss somewhere, and I'm like pussyfooting around the boss. Damn, double kill. Save her. I already have one of these, so that can work. Saber is a piece of garbage. Saber. You know, I really had a lot of fun in Skyrim just going into dwarven ruins and random caves and going all the way down. Like, I think I've always loved just, like, exploring dungeons and, like, sneaking through and looking at them. Like, I don't really even need an overworld that much. I mean, I guess that's pretty much what Diablo is, so... I guess games like Diablo are probably what I'd really be looking for in a game. And I mean, I've played Diablo, and I've little to no interest in any new Diablo they'd come out with, unless it was multiplayer. And I've heard enough people bitch and rant and cry about it. But... Dude, those guys are like paper dolls. I need a stinking cake. Please stop shooting me with arrows. I don't like that. I found a switch. I found a fish biscuit. But yeah. So we finished watching Earth 2 on uh, Netflix. Man, those episodes, out of order, the sound is incorrect, all sorts of problems. And it was a shame because it was a good series, but... It really hurts the series when you're just like... You have to kind of pretend that it's French or something and they've done bad dubbing. Because it's like, when it's like five seconds off, it's kind of like, <sighs> I will fight you. Have at you. What is that? A mantle? I think I already have a mantle. Slaying goblins. Ugh, long you know, I could really use this. <sighs> Windows, fuck off. Ugh, look at you. Look at what you made me do, Windows. Ugh, annoying. All right, there we go. Yeah, the other thing is, is 
it's like every other time I use my computer, it like puts up my background, and sometimes when I enter, it just doesn't work. Oh no, you're... That guy needs to die. Piss off. Come on, kill yourself. I said heal yourself. I'm beginning to think the heal just takes more and more SP or whatever. But it doesn't heal for any more. That's the way it's looking. Garbage. Yeah, I wanted the sum fruit. More garbage. Alright, where are you, you little drum beater? No. Thank you. You're terrible at making music. You annoy me. Come on, get back here. I saw you. There's no hiding from my sword. Because it's massive. <sighs> See, look at that. That takes a huge chunk. Is there a Balrog? I'm gonna whoop some Balrog. Yeah. I'm so awesome. You can't contest. I'm dual wielding. Like a boss. Long knife? That sounds like a shitty weapon. You're drunk. Ugh. That is garbage, but maybe I'll hold on to it to sell it. Leather jacket? Yeah, you're garbage. I wonder if I played as Gandalf, I could shoot like fireballs and shit. Ah, oh, sweet. They need to put these like right in the beginning. Let's buy a skill point. Alright. And that was lame that I spent all those gems on freaking stupid uh, attribute points. Oh no, I got three points for way too many gems. I'm Aragorn and I'm coming for you. You get over there. Uh, I guess you have to go. Whoa, suddenly goblins. I don't know. These kind of graphics always remind me of the game Abuse. Good old PC game if you like kind of action platformer shooters. It's interesting, and I always wonder why people didn't make more in the genre, because it was really good. And I still need to get my freaking Crusader No Remorse No Regret working. I thought I'd go over there. Guess not. Ah, um, because the, those games are pretty awesome, and they're really interesting. I don't know. It's just a shame that they never see received much popularity. I, I met another person who was a really big old computer game fan, and he said he never heard of them. He never heard of Abuse either, which is really strange, because um, I used to get PC Gamer when PC Gamer was actually good, and wasn't like, oh my gods, check out this game company's you know, new multi-million dollar release. 
or like news that's already too late and it's already been on the internet for like six months. Um, yeah. well, that was the door that opened. Um, and they used to always have these demo discs, and there were all these like weird games on it. And uh, I don't know. I remember playing Abuse on one of them, and he said he used to get PC Gamer, but never got Abuse. Um, which was strange, and, uh, okay, that's weird, made a switch up here, um, so, I don't know, we talked about him, and I let him, uh, check out Crusader, he looked up some previews and stuff like that, and he ended up getting it somewhere, I don't remember where, um, but he really enjoyed it, and it's always weird like that, how, like, Especially with PC games, there are sometimes old PC games that are really good, and you can still play them through, like, DOSBox and stuff. They just kind of got swept under the rug, or came out at a bad time, you know. Like, pretty much any PC game that came out around the time of Doom 2 did not do well. That's just, like, a thing. Like, I remember when Doom 2 came out, and I, like... Like, I, that was probably the first game I ever waited for, like, waited outside of a store for. Like, my mom was none too pleased, but, like, I remember going and being like, Oh my god, there's a second Doom. I have to get this the day it comes out. And, like, I got it and played it and was, like, blown away. But that's neither here nor there. Um. Oh, I see. Uh. Like... There used to be a computer place near me where they used to have a lot of really good PC games. And then, I don't understand it, because so many people I knew like bought games from there. And just suddenly the company just went under. And just disappeared. Uh, computer City, they were pretty awesome. And they were like reasonably priced compared to like some other places. Because like most computer places were like... You know, some basement neckbeard whose mom opened a shop for him. Or he, like, did it and opened up his own shop and then sold games where it's like, oh, you want to buy Doom? That'll be, you know, $89.99. And, uh, you know, he wouldn't even have, like, a modern selection. But anyway, uh, that aside, it's one of those things where, you know, I... I look for the games today, and a lot of them have been getting harder and harder and harder to find, mostly because it it's not that there doesn't seem to be any interest. I guess it's more like it doesn't seem like the resources to, you know, play them or to get them to operate correctly are gone. Oh, there's some gunshots. Um, so, it gets really frustrating. Like, I have I have uh, discs for the game Mission Force Cyber <clears throat> Mission Force Cyberstorm, but like, other than digging up my Windows 95 disc and trying to get a dual boot, or finding out if there's a way I can, you know, emulate it, like do a virtual machine of it. Um, because I know there's a trick way through DOSBox to get it to load Windows 95 and actually have it run, but the games run slow as hell. Um, but I wish I could have a virtual machine with Windows 95 or that their compatibility mode would actually freaking work in Windows. Um, or if I could, like, you know, even, like, load a legit copy through Steam... And then Steam would, you know, update the resources needed to actually play the game. Then it would be, uh, fun and kind of interesting to, uh, go back and play all those games. Run around until you get health. He is wrecking my day. Heal yourself. I said heal yourself. I'm 
back to the rank round. Those things hurt a lot of her. Aragorn, the Dragonborn. Dude, I'm so glad I revived there. I know I'm going to get some sort of copyright notice for this awful MIDI Lord of the Rings sound. Could you die? That would be freaking great. Freaking green goblins. I don't need that. Yeah, that can go away. Alright, let's pick up all the other stuff that was in here. I wish the boss at least dropped something. Screw you. I saw that. Um. I don't know. I've always hoped for more for older games. I mean, there are things like GOG and stuff like that that are helpful. But, I don't know. I think a, like, a lot of people ask me like annoying questions, and I, I don't mean to sound like pretentious about it, but they ask me like obnoxious questions like, how do you get this to install? Where do you get it from? Blah, 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 blah. No, go away. Please stop asking me that. Like... Okay, that was weird. The music hiccuped. Um... Because... Oh, that's good. Like, I don't know your machine. I don't know what will work. I don't know your limitations. I, I don't know if you even have a functional understanding of DOSBox, and I'm not going to explain the entire thing to you. There's a whole DOS box forum for that. Um, so, I don't know. It, it's just kind of frustrating. And I totally threw away the wrong thing, because that was probably worth something, because it was green. Probably means it's like a rare item or something. Dude, I will farm all of you goblins until I get a level up if that's what it takes. Ugh, this crappy leaf sword. Leave me alone. <laughs> ah. I want some gems, damn it. Yeah. Face my wrath. Wrong button. All right, heals 25 hit points plus five, so 30 divided by level. Herbs are more effective. Eight spirit, eight spirit plus two divided by level. So I guess the more you put into it, the less it gets, the less it costs. But I don't feel like that's what it's doing. I'm feeling like it's getting more expensive and healing for less. Oh sure, just just dump all these enemies on me, you jerks. See if I help you get the ring. At least Sauron doesn't do this to his goblins. I don't know what ambulance do, so and I don't need that. I certainly don't need that. I mean I really don't need any of that stuff, but shoes. Can you seriously give me, like, better shoes? All these shoes freaking blow. <clears throat> but, I don't know. Oh, great. Out of my way. 
gems. Hey guys, seriously, what's with ditching me? No, I don't want to pick up a cave. But I don't know. I I just wish it was more convenient for people to just get resources and move through like Steam or GOG or some other Out of my way, there's a ball rock coming. Heal thyself. Ooh, clasp. Something new. Finally, get rid of that. Plus one defense, really? Might be better than medallion. Oh, hold on. You shall not pass. Let me guess, it's gonna show his you shall not pass face. That is a shitty looking battle rock. Go quickly. I mean, at least him, like, just bowing down goblins like this is pretty accurate to the movie. That's pretty much what he did. He just, like, walked into a room and was like, Oh, goblins? No big deal. They can't even hit me. Uh, I hate this, like, going back and forth between items menu. I'm probably only going to pick up stuff that sounds new, unless I can sell it somewhere. Because most of the stuff I pick up is just garbage. Like a short sword at this point. I almost ate shit right there. <sighs> Waiting for magic. My coffee is going to be very cold now. I'm just glad that this is like, it's been a while since I played a GBA game that wasn't goddamn terrible. Okay, so it does take more, but at least it does heal more. I need to upgrade my spirit with gems. Money is the only way to upgrade. Pick up the motherfucking gems. I don't know. It, I usually don't go out of my way to like ask somebody like for help with something when I can like look it up on Google. Yes, let's go. Um, I don't know. Like Delirious and I were talking, and uh, it's one of those things like phone books and stuff soon will probably be extinct because of cell phones and because of, you know, things like Google and other social, and like Facebook and other social media that's slowly robbing, you know, places like phone companies and all of their business. Yeah, there'll still be phone companies with cell phones and stuff like that, but it just takes one of those things where some company like Google comes out with like a Skype phone or something. So... That way it uses something else or, you know, uses wireless internet in order to operate. Um, before we really start seeing, like, an extinction to phone books, and instead phones are by people's names or attached to a Facebook account or, you know, something interesting. No. Like that. Okay, good to know those shoes aren't worth anything. Class worth good money. Alright, so pretty much armor, weapons, and like limited accessories are really good. Yeah, let's do that. And that. 
just get a random box. <sighs> yes, it's all that. And I don't have enough gems for anything else. But, uh, like, internet and social media, like, I rarely use my cell phone anymore. Um, I mostly use it because businesses are always, like, 30 years behind when it comes to anything. Um, so, I don't know, I just, like, prefer to just look something up on Google, message somebody on Facebook, like, I feel like it's much faster and much more instant, and, like, unlike phones where, like, voicemails get finicky and, like, all that shit, and, like, you know, it's you pretty much know that the message is going to the person, and whether they read it or not is kind of irrelevant. But, it's just more concise, I think, to uh, just, you know, use Google to search for something, you know, use Facebook to message somebody, use email, you know, even through freaking YouTube, it's much more effective if you know somebody's YouTube and they're constantly on it, to be like, hey, dude, where are you? than it is to, you know, do anything else. Like, cell phones, I just find, are very inconvenient, other than for texting. But texting is really the same thing as an email. Like, if you had a computer phone that could do it, like, or a phone that worked just like a computer did, then there wouldn't be as big a deal. Like, it would probably be pretty damn easy to get done whatever you need to get done. And it all relates, again, to searching for information. I mean, when it comes to that, you usually use the internet. Most people do. Um, so, I just don't... I, I just, I guess what I was trying to say is that it, I'm always trying to look at the, the long term in terms of it to get rid of like things like phone books and TV guides and stuff like that. I mean, most of the stuff is slowly going extinct because we, we just have such a nice wealth of information that's mostly free. Some information, however, is not free or programs or things you can do. But once we, you know, have the next generation grow up, they, they probably won't know what a home phone is be like, people had phones that couldn't move from your house? That's stupid. You know? I mean, I, I don't even have a home phone number, and I have no interest in having it. Um, just because I have a cell phone. If somebody really needs to contact me, they can do that. And, you know, my utilities company send me emails, so it's not like I need my phone for that stuff. So it's just kind of silly in the long run for us to still I guess kind of be behind the times and stuff like that. And it won't be long before even your basic cell phone service starts turning into something completely different. I mean, right now we're already having data data packs and, you know, oh, this is how much data you can get a day, which I think is retarded. Um, but, you know, once we get rid of, like, your basic phone number and it comes down to you, who you are in your private... ID number, or whatever they have for it, um, then I, I would find it more interesting to see, like, where the technology goes, and how we'll, you know, stand to use it in the, in the future. A lot of goddamn wolves. All right, let's uh, recharge over here for a moment. But uh, I don't, I don't know. It's just it's weird when people ask questions or like use Yahoo questions because honestly. It takes you two minutes in Google. Like, I understand if you don't don't know a search term or don't know what specifically you're looking for, but I can't... 
fathom being incapable of using like a basic Google search. Like, almost everybody knows how to use Google. Like, it, it's pretty simple. I mean, you can even type long strings of ridiculousness, and it'll still come up with something, even if it's not that interesting, um, or not at all what you're looking for. But uh, most technologies we see today will probably, you know, be gone or advanced. I mean, we'll probably have the internet for a very long time, but it won't be long before the next thing like the internet comes out, or a faster way to share information than the internet. And I mean, right now it's hard to fathom, but I mean, that's kind of the... no. You're going down, bird. Um, it's hard to fathom the future of uh, that kind of stuff. I don't know. It was like kind of laugh at people that have like, you know, oh, you know, I pay so much and I get cable and stuff like that. Like, why would you get cable? Like, you you have the internet. Like, there's all sorts of TV services. I mean, Netflix is freaking more effective for me than cable. Nine times out of ten, I end up just watching, like, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and it's a repeat. Because there's just nothing else on. Or it's, like, freaking pet psychic, and I, like, throw up a little bit in my mouth and have to, like, watch, to watch Netflix or go on YouTube. I mean, either way, I'm pretty sure YouTube has had a severe dent on how many asses are in seats watching some kind of reruns of Will and Grace, as opposed to being like, I'd rather watch some kid pretend like he's turning into a Super Saiyan than, uh, you know, watch Will and Grace. Let alone the fact that, like, when you have, like, your basic TV, um, I should probably get that up, or this, let's just put one into that, and hopefully with one I can go into that. So, I don't know, I mean, I think that that's the reason why we see a lot more of this kind of absurd SOPA laws and stuff like that. Um, it's just because there aren't asses and seats watching stuff that people pay for. Like, I mean, if you consider it, yeah, I paid for a lot of the... Like, it costs a fair amount to even get set up on YouTube, and even then, there's no guarantee you'll ever go anywhere. So... When I think about it, like, I just think that these people are suckers, and they're paying and getting paid to put up this stuff, and, you know, internet media is so much more relevant and important. People actually sit down and focus on it because they get a choice. But I think the whole, like, not getting a choice thing is what I hate about it. Like, you know, I don't want to be set by your time schedule and when you think this show that you paid X amount will make the most money because it's at prime time and there are big commercial slots so you can make back your money. I don't care. I'd rather just wait a year and watch it on Netflix instead of dealing with like hordes of commercials and you know the chance to get interrupted by like some local station talking about something that I don't care about. You know? No. It's like the same reason I don't watch the news, because it has no relevance to me right now. Like, and why would I look up something so antiquated when uh, I could just look on Google News and search it by region and pretty much be done with all of my news gathering for the day right then? I just think it's like an exercise in futility to keep having these companies pay for some freaking... Aryan poster child guy to sit there and tell you, like, well, here's up with sports. No, I don't care about sports. Move on to something important. Like, and then on top of that, they don't even show important stories, or it's already too late by the time you hear the story. Like, so.
so, I don't know. What are you? I guess you're supposed to be a war. Oh, and I should probably stop. So, I will continue ranting in the next episode of Let's Play Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, with me, Morak Dies. See you later.